Hello and welcome back to Arcade Saga. Uh, yeah, let's do a uh, blooming update for the month of January. And I'm starting with good news because my most favorite, uh, one of my most favorite Arcades is blooming and you see her here in the screen. The first two blooms of this season of the Miltoniopsis. And I'm very happy of course. These are my favorites if you uh, didn't already know it. But uh, yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, beautiful blooms, only two it had, but this one doesn't make very uh, large spikes, as far as I uh, know, at least in my uh, my care. But it is the uh, biggest Miltoniopsis, it's quite a uh, nice bushy plant, and it has, I think, about five new growths. And one of them started with those two blooms, and this morning I discovered uh, in here, um, right about there, I'm sorry we have another spike coming. So at least another spike, but I think we will have a few more. And one of these guys down here, I think it was this one, is already uh, us as well working on a spike. So I hope the rest will uh, spike too, but this is a good sign of course. The first two um, blooms are opened. And starting uh, to getting fragrant already. Then next to it we have this beauty. It's a very very beautiful bloom. It's a bit strange maybe, but I like the shape and the colors. Let's see, uh, when it opens, I have one here, it's more yellow in the blooms, and then when it's getting older, the yellow starts to get more a uh, uh, off-white color. But a beautiful, uh, beautiful bloom, if you ask me. Sadly, no idea. So I don't have uh, no idea. I have no uh, idea of this plant, sadly. Then, uh, one of my two surprise plants, I bought this, uh, these plants, I think about one year or maybe two years ago, uh, with no clue what kind of blooms it would get, but this one is uh, starting to open up, and I think it's a very nice uh, little bloom, um, but I have no idea with, uh, what the idea, the right idea of this plant is. It came with a tag, let me grab it. Uh, it's stuck somehow. There it is. And it's... Whoops! There it goes. <laughs> this is what it says on the tag. So... But yeah, I don't think it's really... Uh, it's an it's a official name. So, if you recognize it, or any of my other plants, please uh, let me know. This is the Sturbic from the Incas. Almost, almost every time in bloom. Beautiful. One of my favorite colors, the dark red color. As you can see, quite a big spike. And it's working on another one. That spike isn't as big. And it's strangely coming from the apex of this new growth. So I don't know if that was the uh, right idea to do, but still, it's uh, working on a second spike. The Saigo Lucendorf, recently we did a uh, update, care collab on this one, on the Saigos. It's still working on the buds, but the uh, Golden Bay is now open on a bit of sad new growth. But it is open and I think it's a bit darker than normally, normally it's a bit more yellow, so I don't think this growth is that strong. So it's blooming, but not the colors are not that vibrant as usual. So, but still we have three beautiful blooms, and this side is working on the buds as well. Then we have this beauty, also a very uh, nice color. I like these dark reds and yellows, and oranges and purple and pink. But <laughs> this is uh, one of my favorite colors. This is the. Let me check the tag. Wilsonara Lisa Delights. I just better can read it because it's fading, but it's the Lisa Delights. And there we have a, a beautiful combination. This is the best combination, if you ask me, yellow and white in blooms. Don't know why, but I love it. This is the Irish Mist, the Ondocidium. Ondot, Ondo. Let me check again. Yeah, Ondo. Tocidium. Undotocidium. That's it. <laughs> Beautiful blooms. 
Then this one is also a beauty. It's sadly a no idea. But it's such a beautiful plant and fairly big blooms. So yeah, it's a beauty and I'm lucky I have another spike in the back. Then almost touching the ceiling we have this one. Uh, I hope to I hope you can see it. And I'm sorry for that annoying noise in the background. That's that's my lamp. Those are that noise make do make my uh, lamps. So I cannot turn it off. I'm I apologize for that. It's that zooming very annoying zooming uh, noise. Let me check the the label for this one. It's the Rinko Stella Violetta van Hall. That is the blooms we just saw on this one. First I wasn't last year I wasn't that much in love with it, but I, I'm starting to appreciate it more and more. It, the plant itself is getting bigger, stronger, and I think the blooms are a bit vibrant than last time. And one that one that look very similar is this one. I don't know if they are related, I didn't look it up, but I, I think they are very uh, very similar bloom wise. This is the Odontonia Fiona Eisler. And this lamp is the making the noise, so we probably hear it a little bit louder. Then we have this beauty. Look at this. This is one of my favorite, absolute favorites. Huge spikes and the blooms. The dark red and yellow and a bit of white. So my three mo most favorite uh, colors in one bloom. But it's beautiful. I love it. Look at this. It's such beautiful. It's fairly big. Blooms are fairly big. This is my hand. Let me try it like this. So we have a bit of an idea. Next to it, it's a plant that's still working on a spikes. That's the Quinlanburg. I think this is also a Quinlanburg, but I'm not sure. But soon we can compare. So, so far, this is a uh, no idea plant. Orchid. But if the blooms are similar to this one, it probably is a Quinlanburg. But I, I think they are very similar, but I'm not sure. Complete. This is the first time that this Quinlanburg is blooming. So I saw it on pictures and I thought, well, this is very close, but I don't know if it's close enough. But I may say red is still uh, blooming on the last blooms. We have only five left from three big spikes. But again, my one of my favorite colors, the beautiful dark red. And look at this beauty. Also fairly big blooms. I got this one from the Incas. It's the Rin Rinosia Nahuat. Something that was a little bit of Dutch, Nahuat. <laughs> a Rensen Coral. Rinensen Coral. I'm sorry for my pronunciation, but I believe I'm not the only one who struggles with that. But and you probably recognize this plant, but it is a beauty. Uh, let me see, yeah, right above it, still in bloom, my Pegawood Carpenter. It, this one is blooming for a heck of a long time. Last time it was already, or st starting to bloom was on a Kerkel lab. I'm not sure what the date on that Kerkel lab is out of, uh, from my, uh, on top of my head, but it's still blooming beautifully. And uh, this one is the tiger something is now going over this one is going over quicker but these are a few blooms left tiger tail something tiger tail and next to it this one started to branch so these are fishing not not really my blooms so but this is one from the Landsbergen uh, haul that I did it's a very beautiful orange rusty color and like I said it did start to, uh, to branch so I let it because it fairly looks okay and the plant is working on two new growths and some roots. And then we have, I put my hand, no that's not helping. Um, I hope you can see it a little bit like this. Maybe I can turn it a bit. My blackjack. One of my slippers that's still in, in bloom. Next to it I have the American Beauty, which is now done with those two blooms and this one is close to be finished as well. Beautiful shaped and with those dots there. 
beautiful bloom but this one this new growth is already making a sheet so we got a we do get another spike and that new growth I did cut the leaves but they they started to brown but this one is not making a sheet but we will have another one and then we have my Ludicias Jewel Orchids in bloom I have four of them this is a yellow one this one is making a bud it's there so the same uh, type of blooms but they are only uh, yellow that's a different and I have the green one I think it's the Alba version any more regular one and this one is the same plant I did uh, get this one but it's a uh, very nice bloom. I'm not a big fan of the dual orchids, but this is a quite a spectacular show. I don't think you can get any much uh, more from a dual orchid as this this uh, show. I think it's beautiful. So despite of me telling them that I'm not a huge fan of them, they are uh, still reluctant to bloom for me, and they are uh, convincing me. Yes, I, uh, I absolutely appreciate this. Uh, beautiful show of white uh, blooms and some of them are getting over but and soon i will do an update of course and then we have um the yellow version this one is now going over yes so let me see i did miss this one the catante beautiful orange one. Oh yeah i have another one in bloom this one this is the Blossom Falls from the Incas. Beautiful. This plant wasn't doing very well for me, but now it's uh, getting back and you can see quite a lot of roots. And even another spike there. But back in the days when it did do fairly well for me, it had uh, six spikes on each bulb. And now they have only one, so I can do better. But this one is recovering. Next to it, is a birthday gift but I think it's the same uh, plan so I'm not sure what to do with uh, with them maybe I will uh, pot them up in one uh, pot someday so let's go into the greenhouse uh, let me turn around slowly yeah, it's watering day well actually it was yesterday watering day for my vendas so I will uh, change um, the watering I'm uh, putting the water out. But this is a blooming update. <laughs> a little distracted there. One of my epidendrums. A beautiful one. Very soft orange color. I really love it. This is my oldest one. The epidendrums most of the times are not that difficult to, uh, to grow, but I must admit I had a bit of a trouble with them. I think they would like to have a little bit more light, but I don't, uh, I cannot give the give that to them so I hope they will uh, will do better in the near future but we have three spikes on this one and this one is very starting to open up already so that's beautiful next to it is the uh, Rene Marquez yes that was it you can see it's a little bit starting to browning the bloom so this one was for in blue for qu quite a, a while already so the blooms are getting uh, starting to get over a few, a few um, <laughs> Four beautiful blooms. I love this one. This one uh, blooms very uh, easily for me, so that's nice. Um, then we have one of my Dendrobium fenliopsis here, the spring eclipse. And I think I had it a little bit too cold because I was expecting, because this cane is huge, as you can see. That is a uh, last year's growth. This cane, seriously, this one tripled in size. But what happened? The the spikes didn't progress, as you can see on the tip of my finger. So I think it was a little bit too cold, sadly. Otherwise, I had a beautiful display as last year. It was a very long spike, but sadly, something did go wrong. And because the blooms and the buds didn't drop, I think it was just a little bit too cold to. Uh, keep it happy enough to uh, proceed uh, growing uh, to, to continue to grow those spikes here we have another epidendrum an orange one with uh, two new spikes and an older one I 
not sure this one is doesn't progress as much. Uh, I'm going to turn to the left now. Don't hope to want to make you dizzy, but up here, this is my uh, Chinlin Chinatown, something like that. The blooms are starting to getting over, and I'm sorry for the backlight. Maybe this works. Beautiful blooms, but uh, they're not at this at uh, their prettiest anymore. Ooh. I was waiting for this one. It's not open yet, but oi oi oi. <laughs> really looking forward to this one. This is my second uh, Caracidian type that I uh, did, get to match to, did manage to get into bloom. Uh, I think this is the golden swan. Let me check. Yeah, it's a Cido. How do we say it? Cido. She noticed. She noticed Super Swan. She noticed Super Swan. Very. Oops. Let me put it like that. Very uh, big bulb. This was the last one. This is how I did get it last year. And a beautiful bulb and a very healthy spike. And it's as you can see, it start to open up. So yeah, that is. I'm really happy with it. Again, a yellow one, of course. <laughs> Speaking about yellow, this is the yellow bird that I did uh, get from Anna Maria, Milka Orchid. It puts up two blooms, but it's still uh, transitioning into my uh, climate. But it did manage to uh, sort of make these blooms. These, these are a little bit tinier than uh, they should be, I think, but that's uh, okay, seeing the circumstances. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah, I have another beauty in bloom. It's down here. This is also from the Landsbergen. Let me grab it from a hole. But look at this. Let me change the background a little bit. Um, we have six spikes. It came with three, and another six spikes did decide to come. But the first one is really opened up, as you can see. Beautiful. But I leave it on the shelf like this for now, so the blooms will face the same direction. Uh, one is trying to uh, make up an own mind, but I try to get them in the... So that's why it's standing like this. Whoops, I don't want to break anything. Whoops, there you go, of course. I'm sorry, you guys. So it's facing and growing to that light, and as soon as the buds are really starting to open up, I will turn it around and this one will be in the back, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, six more spikes. A total of nine spikes on one bulb. Lycoste. I did forget the, the, to mention the name, but it's Lycoste. Of Lycoste, something like that. This is the first time bloomer for me. We have a care collab coming up on this guy. It's a yellow version. And I need to check the name because I did forget. Maxillaria Chrysantha Maxillaria Chrysantha, the yellow one and I only have one of them, but I managed to get it to bloom so that's something not a huge fan of them on these guys, because that's why I only have one but I really, really like them but I don't need more, I like my other orchids a bit better just being honest <laughs> Okay, that's my fan going on with some fell blooms behind it. It's a very large spike, this one. It's a very heavy spike. It's coming from this one. <laughs> and next to, one, to it, it's uh, this spike here. But what a beautiful big blooms as well on this one. Beautiful, beautiful spike. Then over here I have only one, uh, come on, how do we call it, I know how we call it, um, yeah, sorry, I, it just doesn't want to come out, but this one <laughs> is a very nice one, but I don't like uh, the shape of the blooms that much, so stupid, just want to, I, I will remember it in a second. Um, and then we have a big cluster here of different uh, blooms. This one I also really like. It's the hot kiss something. And we have here and there some trip damage still. 
and I have a Jaguar, it's this one and a, a wide spotted one in the back Hello Rick, there, are wor there is the words <laughs> let's go in back this, I only have one Poloric phenolepsis. I'm sorry you guys. I knew that was some there, somewhere in, the, in my brain that was. This is a lovely yellow-orange one. Again, some damage from the thrips, sadly. But I love the colors. Look at that lip. Beautiful orange-red. Next to it, another yellow one. Beautiful. Some spotted ones over here, beautiful cluster. This one of blooms, and then we have this one a white, no idea. It's actually a cakey of a plant, but I like this one. I don't know why. Yeah, okay, it's uh, it's an orchid, of course, but I uh, I do like the fells, but I don't need much white ones. I already have a, a white one, but this one I, I think it's the shape of the bloom, it's a bit different than I used to. Fairly big and a bit different. Nice spotted one again and we have a beautiful pink with orange one. I really like the combination of these colors. Uh, above it a nice cluster of blooms again on this one. Put the camera like that. Then we have the first rebloom of this plant. A beautiful pink one. It's the Madonna. Friendly up Madonna or something. But if you uh, put it in on Google, you will find it. It's a beautiful one. My Leodora. Leodora. Uh, blooming on two spikes. And almost on three. That's beautiful. There, behind that one, we have this beautiful dark red. Dark red. Um, fell. I, again, love these blooms. Both of these guys are fragrant. This one is going over now. And that's okay. We have another spotted one here, a mini veil. And here is a spike on my Siluriana. The one I don't have that long, but this one I did cut off a spike because I just repotted it. And soon after it, it started making this spike so yeah I thought okay it's it's clear you want to bloom and it has uh, roots in a pot it has beautiful roots this is a beautiful area one but those are growing in a pot so it's dehydrating dehydrating itself perfectly fine so yeah my first Siriana this sh should be the more pink variety because that one I like more I obviously like the voyage but the blooms of the more pink one so I really, really hope I have that one. And then we have this No Idea spotted one. Also a beauty. And then again a No Idea, but this one reminds me a bit of the um, Mini Mark. I don't know if it's related, but it really reminds me of that one. And I have the Mini Mark here that is working on a spike. Again, I did cut two spikes of this one, but still I decided to make another one. Because I just did repot them, as I did with this one. But this one is also starting a spike. Again. So now I'm leaving the spikes. <laughs> I don't cut spikes anymore. They really want to spike, so I take the risk. But they all have um, roots inside of the pot. I, this, one, this one doesn't make another new spike. Same story. So, um, yeah, and another white file here um, I had this mislabeled it wasn't an uh, idea but I do sometimes give them my own names and I thought this one was a yellow one so I messed up somewhere <laughs> another white file <laughs> that one uh, will be uh, given away someday and this one it's a, uh, they call them here commercial name a little Lely Ellen and this one is likes to bloom and it starts new buds there so we will have a new bud soon. So a bit of a closer look at my fells. We have this beautiful cluster here of orange blooms, yellow spotted ones, and this beautiful reddish rusty color ones. 
absolutely beautiful. I love them all. I'm a really big fan lover. A fa fail lover. <laughs> My God, I cannot. Sp I can't speak today. I apologize, but uh, <laughs> it's Sunday. I'm a little bit. Uh, no, I'm not really tired. Very relaxed, I think. <laughs> and this one has two spikes. Beautiful spikes. It's a bit of a peachy one, but you can see some damage from the uh, thrips. I really, really love the blooms. This one as well. This one is a beautiful clustered one. Then we have this purple one. Also a beautiful cluster of blooms. Of this plate. It's not, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a cluster, but quite, uh, quite some blooms. Then we have another white one, but this is a big lip white one. I believe it's the Bigfoot. So, uh, yeah, this one I definitely keep. This one is very special. This one uh, I bought um, when uh, my father was uh, passed away. So this one is very special. I didn't uh, had no idea, but this one was called Bigfoot. And I must admit, my father was a very tall man with big feet. <laughs> so the name suits. It's beautiful. Behind it we have a yellow one with two spikes. Beautiful. And I believe, yes, this is the Sogo Mini Sogo. So this one has a attack. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Next to it, the one in butt is also a yellow one. And then we have this is one of my oldest. I have no name for this one, but it's also a big lip. And it's not doing the best. I'm really working with it. I'm not sure what the problem is. I think it's putting too much energy in the bloom, but I. If, as soon as I cut spikes, they will make new ones, so I leave them on there because of the temperatures. I have it quite cooler at night and warmer during the day, and that, that uh, triggers them to spike. So I can cut spikes, but I, I keep cutting them, so now I, I just let them bloom and hope for the best. <laughs> she has some roots inside of the pot, so I think she will survive, but it uh, will be okay. As is this one, you can see it's almost coming from the apex. So I'm not sure, I think it will survive, but this is very close, sadly. And we have a, no idea, one of my oldest as well, purple one here. And this one is going over, and it didn't stop, oh it did stop branching, so. But yeah, and of course we have this one, it has two spikes, but look at this. Speaking of clusters of blooms, let me turn it this one. It's fragrant as well. It has a bit of similar colors of the Leodora, if you ask me. It's, uh, Leodora is there in the back, right above my thumb. But uh, the blooms are a bit, uh, color-wise, a bit the same. Of very close, not the same, of course, but beautiful cluster. And then we have this orange-pink one. Yeah, more pink than orange, but I think there's also a little bit of orange in there. Anyhow, beautiful. So yeah, this is a beautiful uh, show, of course. Every year I hope to have this, uh, this uh, beautiful sea of blooms. Because I only have them uh, about one, one and a half years now in here. So, But I hope uh, every year this, uh, this kind of spikes is beautiful. It's stunning, if you ask me. It's really, really stunning. So yeah, okay, that were my fails. I hope you love fails, because otherwise it was quite a big part of this uh, video. <laughs> Very old now. And I need to spray this one again, because I have the aphids on it. So annoying. They're easy to, to uh, kill, but they keep coming back. It's really, really annoying. My last video was about this beautiful yellow twinkle lovely one so I will not spend too much time on this <laughs> my uh, black Taiwan Taiwan's black that's it then Rorium phenoliopsis I have a white one here it's well blooming but again it's a little bit too cold for them they're not really liking it I have it around some somewhere between 18 and 16 degrees at night. It's most of the times a bit cold in this area, so yeah, they don't like it. Then we have this uh, Spectabile Crush. You can see the Spectabile uh, in the blooms. 
spotting and the shape. Three spikes, beautiful. Very lovely one. And then, oh, look at this. This is my oldest um, nobly type, and I almost killed it, but this, these two spikes, uh, canes are from last year. And it decided to bloom at least on this older cane, but we have some buds on that as well. So, on the, uh, those canes as well. So, I uh, think I managed to uh, keep it alive and get it going again. So next to it, it's a no idea, but beautiful. These ones just opened up. Beautiful. Also a nobly type. And this one has more buds as well. And we have this yellow one. That yellow one is making a new growth and also starting to budding up. Let me zoom in. I hope you can see the numbers. Yeah, I think you, you can see there. Yeah. And that is a yellow one, like I said. So I'm really looking forward. It's a huge, huge spine. Okay. Beautiful plant. So yeah, something to look forward to. Let's uh, turn around. This one is almost going over. Soon after that, this one will go as well. This is a fairly uh, long time open as well. Then we have this one in the back. I'm not sure what the name is. I, but it's, uh, it's a nice... Uh, bloom then of course my mystic maze again a very large plant huge spike beautiful beautiful blooms quite a lot of blooms 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 but i think they can even make bigger spikes so who knows who knows do i have more in this corner I'm checking. No, no blooms. I think we covered them all. Let me check. Yeah. Let me check for. To be sure on this side. Oh, no. See? I always forget something. This one is a secondary. Uh, second, yeah, secondary spike on this uh, Tulumnia cross. And again, yellow and red. My favorite colors. Medias something. Medias beautiful one so I think now we cover them all so let's me turn the camera one more time and let's uh, have some blooms in the picture so I can uh, properly say thank you for watching and as usual if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below uh, I really like uh, making these videos I hope you liked this well um, I did skip my uh, fails in, in, uh, in uh, most of the blooming uh, videos but I I, uh, yeah, on occasion I will uh, try to get them all a little bit in frames because I really enjoyed it myself. So I can only imagine that there must be more of you guys that really love fails as well. Um, so therefore I uh, put them in a bit more. They just deserve it because they are so, so trying their best to give a show. So they need a little bit of that stage as well. Okay, uh, once again, thank you for watching, uh, you guys, and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.